Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at something a little different. Uh, I'm going to continue the Mac server series, but one of the things I wanted to do is uh, this. With Christmas coming up and all of the different items you may be getting for Christmas, some of you may be getting some smart home items that you'll want to be able to control and set up with automation. And so I'm looking at doing a home automation series to help you get that set up and going. And one of the things you're going to find is that not every one of the devices that you get or want to get are home. HomeKit compatible. Now HomeKit is Apple's home automation platform for the Internet of Things, uh, things such as you know uh, your lights or your thermostat, that sort of thing, having those things be controlled from your phone and then you can set up different automations with those things because they talk to one another through the HomeKit application. And so there are uh, special things you have to do to have a HomeKit accessory, and not every manufacturer has done that. Uh, for example, Google's Nest uh, is not going to be HomeKit compatible, and so if you have a Nest thermostat, you're kind of uh, left out of using HomeKit. Now what I'm going to show you though is a way that you can use those devices through HomeKit and that's through uh, uh, an application that runs in the background called HomeBridge. Now as you can see here on the website, HomeBridge is uh, just one of those applications that allows you to uh, set up your Mac or you could even set up another little computer like a Raspberry Pi or something like that as a hub. Now what you'll notice when you're using these uh, Internet of Things devices is that most of them have hubs and those hubs then are what communicates with HomeKit on your devices. And so what we're going to do is basically trick uh, the system into thinking that your Mac is a hub that these devices are connected to so that they'll show up in HomeKit. And so that's how that works and again it's called HomeBridge. Now there's a few things that we have to have to have this set up. So let me show you how we get this started. The first thing down here is, let me just pull this up, is you want to make sure that Xcode is installed on your Mac. So those of you that uh, have a Mac that are running Mac server, you may have already installed Xcode, but if you haven't, you want to go over to the Mac App Store and do a search for Xcode and install it. It is free, uh, so it won't cost you anything. It does take a little bit of time to download and install, so uh, you know maybe 10 to 15 minutes, so have a little bit more patience than you might with a regular application, uh, but you want to have that installed to start. Uh, so let me just put that down. Now the next thing you're going to want to have is we got to turn your Mac into a, uh, a Node.js server. So what we need is you want to go over to Node.js.org uh, and you want to download uh, the latest uh, build here. Uh, you can see it right here of uh, Node.js because that's what this is going to run with. And inside that it comes with what's called an NPM package manager. And that's how we're going to install HomeBridge. So you want to go ahead and just uh, download this. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit that. We're going to download this application here. And so as you can see I've got that now up in the top here as a Node package. And so I'm just going to go ahead and double click that so we can install it. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So let me just double click this. And so we're going to go through with the install. We're going to say continue and continue again. We're going to agree to the terms and we'll choose install. And so it's going to ask me to authenticate. And once I've done that I just click install software and now it's configuring the installation and writing the files that I need. And you can see now the package has been installed. And you can see there's the NPM package that I'm looking for. And I'll just say close so that uh, and I can move the installer to the trash, which I'll do, and clear this. And so now I've got that installer all set up and ready to go. So that's one thing that I have to do is get that set up and going. So now that we've got that set up, let me go ahead and show you how we start the Node.js server. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is pull up a terminal window. Now, for those of you that may not know where that's at, if you just go into your Applications folder down to Utilities, Terminal would be right there, or you can obviously do a search for it. So let's go ahead and put that down. So here we are in just a regular terminal window. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install Home HomeBridge globally. So what we want to do is we're going to go in here, and we're going to do it as uh, we're going to put... Uh, uh, so there we go, uh, so, uh, do we'll put that in there, and then we're going to put in npm, and then install dash g, uh, with a space there, we'll put two dashes, and then unsafe perm, and then homebridge. 
Okay, so that's what we put in. And you can see there's the there is the entire sentence there. And so we're going to go ahead and hit return. It's going to ask for my password. And I've got that put in. Again, the cursor won't move when you put the password in, just in case you didn't know that. And so we're going to go ahead and just hit return. And so what it's going to do now is you can see it's starting to install the HomeBridge uh, server for us. And so what it's asking me to do is accept the agreements here for Xcode. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return. You know, if I just space bar down, you can see I can see all the agreements there for Xcode. If I just hold it down, you can see all the fine print. And so all I got to do at the very bottom here is just to type agree. And if you hadn't launched it before, that's why I got that, because I didn't launch Xcode after I uh, set it up. And so now that it's doing that, it's starting to now install the rest of what I'm looking for. And as you can see, uh, HomeBridge has gone through its entire process, and it's set up and ready to go. Okay, now that it's done with the installation process, all we need to do is type HomeBridge down here. And so type in the word HomeBridge and then just hit enter. And it's going to start the HomeBridge server. And you can see that it's running on a particular port there. You can even see that it's got my um, iOS ID here uh, for HomeKit. And it's even got the scannable code uh, in here too that's displayed that you can use as well uh, with, the, with the payload. And so now we've got uh, the whole thing up and running. Okay, now that we've got that set up and up and running, we're just going to go ahead and stop HomeBridge because we've got to do some work on a configuration file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit uh, Command-C, and you can see that it shut down HomeBridge, and I've got the command prompt again, and so now we're ready to go. So now that we've got HomeBridge itself installed, what we need to do is set up the configuration file that we're going to use to configure it as a hub and all of our other devices. Okay, now what HomeBridge needs to function is it needs a configuration file that will tell me a little bit about the accessories that are going on and to be able to launch those things and have them connected to the HomeBridge hub. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down here and what we're going to do is I'm just going to go to Finder. And so here we are in Finder. Let me just put this down and I'm just going to hit the Go menu up here and we're going to say uh, Go to Folder. And so what we want to do is go to this folder right here. It's in user, local, uh, library, the node modules, home bridge. And uh, you just can go ahead and put that right in there, just like it's written. We're going to click on go. And it's going to bring us right to that particular folder. And what you'll notice is we have this configuration sample JSON file. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this uh, and come into this. And what I'm going to do is just hit Option and Drag, so we're making a copy of this on my desktop. So you can see that right there. And so now that we've got that, we're ready to go with that piece of it. Now, what we need to do is actually edit. Uh, we're going to have to uh, edit this file eventually to make it work with HomeBridge. But before we do that, what I want to do is go ahead and add it into HomeBridge. So we can do the same thing, or what we can do is we can hit Shift-Command-G. And we get this nice drop down just like this. And what we're going to want to do is put in the tilde uh, with the uh, slash and then dot homebridge. Okay, just like that. So it's going to open up the homebridge uh, folder here, which is a hidden folder. And so right inside here, you can see we've got this accessories and persist area. We're just going to take this file and we're going to drag it right in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rename it. We're going to get rid of the sample word there. And we're just going to rename it config.json file. There we go. And so now we've got that file set up and ready to go. Now what we're going to do is go into that file and do some edits on it. And so now one of the things we want to do is edit it in a very specific program. Because you can't use text edit for it or anything like that. So we're going to take a look at a program that they recommend, and that's called Atom. And so let me just go back into Safari here. And then we're going to go right over to Atom. And this is a free uh, application that allows you to edit these type of files and you can see how it's set up. And so you want to download a copy of that so that you've got that uh, all set up and ready to go. And so let me just put this down. Uh, I have that uh, set up already. So what we're going to do, if, in fact, if I just uh, control click on it, you can say open with and you can pick the application. I'm going to pick to open with Atom and it's going to open the application for me. Okay, so here we are inside the configuration uh, file here. And as you can see, we've got a number of things that have been configured for us. Now, the first thing there, you can see we've got this bridge area here. 
And you can see we've got the name of the bridge. And so right now it says home bridge. You can change that to whatever you want. That's just going to be the name of your bridge. The bridge is like a hub uh, that would be used by something like Philips Hue or Lutron Cassetta or something like that. So you can put the name whatever you want. In my case, I'm just going to leave it as home bridge. I've got a username that it gives me. I've got a port that it functions on. And then I've got a pin that it gives me. And this would be the pin that I would put into a HomeBridge accessory uh, to add it. And so again, you can change this number as well. Uh, you kind of want to leave the dashes in there, but you can change the number in here if you want it to be some different number. Uh, this is just a default one. I'm just going to leave it at the default because that's fine as well. Uh, we've got a description, which again, you can type whatever you want in here uh, to make a description of what this particular uh, hub is if you wanted to put that in there. I'm going to leave it alone. And then down here you have your accessories and you have your platforms. Now accessories are bridgeless accessories. They're individual accessories that might be added like maybe a Wemo switch or something like that, that you would then put in here. And you can see it gives you that example. And then you also have platforms. And these are things that would use hubs, like a Philips Hue or something like that. That's put in here as well under this platforms area right here. And you can see it's even put in a Philips Hue hub uh, just to kind of give you an example of what that looks like. What we're going to do in this screencast is I'm going to show you how to add the Nest platform uh, to your file here so that any Nest devices you have will show up in HomeKit. And I'll show you kind of what they look like and that sort of thing when I, when I cover that a little bit more in depth. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to clean up uh, this file a little bit. And so what we'll do is we'll just take kind of everything in here and I'm just going to kind of backspace it. Uh, all the way so I've got that kind of cleared out. Uh, it's just a little easier and I'm going to do the same thing right here for accessories so those are cleared out. And so now you can see we've got these blank uh, areas now that we can work with to start to put things inside of them. So that's how you set up HomeBridge on your Mac so that you can run all of your non-HomeBridge devices and get access to them through HomeKit. And that opens up the possibility then to get devices that maybe are not HomeKit certified, uh, but you can still use them in your automation process. So I'm going to show you how to set a lot of these things up both physically and through the software so that you can use them in your own home automation services. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.